hi everyone welcome to this video production this video production will bless you greatly as you watch and pray along prepare to receive prophetic declarations by apostle joshua selman feel free to like share comment and also subscribe thank you so much for joining us and god bless you welcome to start now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verses 130 the entrance of thy word be that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. In the main auditorium, all the overflows down to the basement and outside. Our Zaria family following, our global family following, I stretch my hands and I decree and declare everyone who belongs to this category where there are handwritings, please bring them out, and ordinances that will not let you go. This is koinonia, and in the name of Jesus the Christ of God, exalted both as Lord and King. I declare that those handwritings are blotted out now. Those handwritings are blotted out now. Everywhere, whoever has been a victim of demonic writings, kataparuskiata, writings on females, writings on males, writings on educated ones, uneducated ones, writings that wait for seasons to be activated in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare right now, may those writings be blotted out. Writings against your finances, writings against your health, writings against your victory, writings against your lifting, in the name that is above all names, this night, this night, not tomorrow, not next week, not Monday, this night, open your mouth, begin to declare, I blot out by the power of the blood, every handwriting, help them. Every handwriting. Shilakata paruka tosiata. Lift your voice and pray. There is power in the name of Jesus. There are miracles in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. It breaks every chain. It removes every chain. It breaks every chain. Please don't be distracted. You are in church. We are praying. God is settling serious issues here. We came to receive. I'm still praying. God is not done yet. Listen to me. Listen. There are families. There is a limit on you. Nobody rises beyond that limit. It doesn't matter whether you travel abroad. It doesn't matter whether you back a PhD. It doesn't matter. There seems to be a limit right now in the name of Jesus. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus in the main auditorium, down to the basement, outside, following from any nation. As you shout, that bar that has been set that you will not cross. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God fire bone starting to pieces are you ready now one two three shout jesus upon families upon destinies bring them out every limit placed upon you every embargo placed upon you upon your political career upon your business now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is please bring them out Sh 
Hallelujah. Please pay attention. There are families here that never finish anything. You start, but it never finishes. No matter what, whether it's a building project, whether it's your spiritual life, it does not, the finisher's anointing is not there. The moment you start, something must happen on the way and abort that destiny. I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. If there is any family here that is under the yoke of aborting glorious destinies at the count of three, I want you to shout that name again that is above all names. As you shout that name, that yoke must be broken. Are you ready now? One, two, three, shout Jesus. That altar, that yoke, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now the Lord is that spirit, the Bible says. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. The Bible says the hand of Zerubbabel that began this work, that same hand will complete it. I'm saying it again. Anyone who is in fraternity with dark powers, stopping you from finishing what God said should be finished. Right now in the name of Jesus, may the earth open up and swallow them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please don't be tired though. We are praying. You came here. Listen, one genuine encounter can bring to end decades of waste of time, waste of destiny. This is the house of God. I want to pray a very serious prayer before we sit down. How many of you know that destinies can be exchanged in the spirit? That you can be living a life you know this is not my life i'm living another person's script it's in the bible where kings slew their children so they will live long in the name of jesus i'm praying now anyone under the sound help them please help them help them anyone under the sound of my voice who is living a script that is someone else's destiny programmed by witchcraft programmed by necromancy powers manipulating your destiny at the count of three i declare in the name of jesus there must be deliverance for you are you ready to shout again my god and my king anyone here whose destiny has been manipulated spiritually financially by the power that raised christ from the dead let there be liberty right now one two three shout jesus Liberty, restoration, liberty, restoration, liberty, restoration. Hallelujah. Everything that should not have left your life, either by mistake it left or by manipulations it left your life, and yet it is part of your prophetic preordination. I stand by the voice of prophecy, I call it back to your destiny. In the name of Jesus, 
I call it back to your destiny. Opportunities, I call them back by prophecy. Relationships, I call them back by prophecy. You'll be seated shortly, but I'm praying. Who is Jane? Jane. I'm hearing a name, Jane. Jane. Will be seated shortly. My sister, Victor, shift please. That lady lifting her hands. Yes, tap her for me. Lift your hands. The Lord is saying oppression has come to an end over your family. Take that grace right now. I command that spirit to let you go in the name of Jesus Christ. Never to return to you. I use as a point of contact and I speak to everyone here. The days of oppression come to an end now. Who is Jane? I'm hearing a name Jane. I presume there may be many people. Help them please. I want to pray for you. The power of God is going to come on one of you. There's a miracle that God is bringing to your family. Those who are out here, don't rush to go back to your seat. There's a reason why I ask that they bring you out. I will pray for you. But the Lord is asking me to minister to a Jane. And one of you standing here, the power of God is going to come on you very quickly. And you'll be back. I will pray for everyone. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. The Bible says, It shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Just help her hold her baby. She can have the baby back after the prayer. Father, anyone under the sound of my voice here that has been oppressed, whose family has come under a demonic siege, ah, I'm seeing like fire resting. In the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, I declare right now that family, I set on fire every covenant every ordinance i set on fire right now i set on fire right now i set on fire in the name of jesus christ i set on fire i burn every work of witchcraft every work of darkness against these families i release you into your prophetic destiny in the name of jesus christ hallelujah I just sense in my spirit before I pray for this once and we sit down. I was so touched by the testimony of the woman and her, her younger brother. The woman with the boy who, whose genotype was changed. There are many people suffering silently under that demonic thing that appears like a medical condition. There are dark bases upon which the devil oppresses you in the name of jesus we come by the mystery of the blood the blood of the eternal covenant that speaks better things than the blood of abel and we declare these plagues are cancelled forever 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 thank you for lifting Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. My head. Please return to your seats rejoicing. Let's give Jesus praise. There's someone. Just help them. We'll be seated shortly. 
but I'm seeing someone you came here with um, your credentials in a brown file bring it come with it Jesus the Son of God I believe in you I believe in you Jesus the Lord is setting that gentleman free age-long captivity over his family stopping people from getting jobs and making progress but who shall say a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not declared it their, their deliverance is happening many people you see who are suffering it's not that they are bad people there are spirits that are standing the way of people my sister this lady in the name of Jesus be delivered the one you are holding I stretch my hands for you and for your family the time has come for your liberty in the name of Jesus Christ miracles don't just happen no. there is a gift called the walking of miracles look what is happening to them ladies and gentlemen these are people who were minding their business sitting and wondering why doors were not opening What's her name that lady my dear I want to pray for you you believe in miracles help them also they don't fall down just help them there. there will be such an avalanche of jobs you believe what I'm telling you not just for those who are out here not just for those who are out here I'm speaking by the Spirit of God I fear God and I will not tell you what God has not said there will be you will see people come to stand here miracles after miracles the gospel affects the well-being of people not just their spiritual destiny the gospel the true gospel affects the well-being of people i prophesy as i've been commanded and i declare by the spirit of god the grace for increase on that wise let it come upon you supernatural jobs by the power of the Holy Ghost supernatural jobs for the glory of the name of the Lord for the advancement of the gospel in the name of Jesus Christ it says where you have been deserted so that no man would pass through you you will become an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations ready to receive we have been commanded to bless Balaam said we've been commanded to bless in the name of Jesus every pit you have found yourself in tonight I stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic and I speak to you no matter how deep that pit is come out of it now come out of it now Come out of it now! Every negative situation surrounding your life, your family, your career, in the name of Jesus, my God and your God, my King and your King, my Deliverer and your Deliverer, I decree and declare over your life, be free from that yoke now! Be free from that yoke now. I stand upon the grace that God has given me and the grace of all our fathers of faith that we have so partaken of by God's grace. 
and from this corporate anointing i speak to you every door that has refused to open over your destiny we speak to that door be open now whatever has affected your passion for god your prayer life your word study life in the name that is above all names fresh fire from the throne let it land on you now number two anyone praying and anticipating your downfall so that they will rejoice and say we said it in the name of jesus christ shame and reproach will be their portion forever He said, Master, we have toiled all night. He said, Nevertheless, everywhere you have tried and tried and failed, I call upon the God of heaven, who is the helper and the lifter of men. Go back and succeed. Go back and succeed. Spiritually, go back and succeed. Financially, go back and succeed. In the name of Jesus Christ. declare if there is anything connected to bloodline connected to foundations connected to ancestry connected to territory holding you back i will not release you to go i cut that chain right now forever i prophesy to you be blessed in the name of jesus i declare you rise to a position of influence that will surprise you. Access to systems and structures. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me believers. Anyone who fights you goes down instantly. And everyone who needs to be used by God in this season. As an instrument of deliverance to bail you out of any kind of shame and reproach in the name of Jesus I call for their ministry over your life enjoy the ministry of angels enjoy the ministry of men enjoy the ministry of angels enjoy the ministry of men enjoy the ministry of angels enjoy the ministry of men in the name of Jesus by this time next week, you will stand here and testify of the wonder-working power of God. Go back to a realm of deliverance, a realm of lifting, a realm of fire. Command results, command results, supernatural results. In the name of Jesus Christ, every veil covering your glory so that you are just moving. I tear that veil in the name of Jesus. Every spirit that has closed scripture towards you, so that even though you are opening your Bible, you are not seeing anything. I declare, let the scrolls be opened. Let the scrolls be unlocked. Let the book be opened. In the name of Jesus. Every spiritual laziness trying to destroy your life, so that you become a victim of the onslaught in this season in the name of jesus i declare those spirits are far from you and let me prophesy upon you the spirit of death whether by accident whether by sickness whether by plane crash whether by the activities of wicked men whether by enchantments and evil incantations may it be far from your habitation Are you ready to pray listen to me there is a name that the nephilims are called two names that will constitute our prayer tonight one they are called watchers do you know what watchers are ah huh? it is the offspring of this that were called familiar spirits their assignment is to study the growth of people within a territory and make sure that there is a limitation as covenanted they are called watchers not watchmen watchers
should i give you an example of those kinds of wicked spirits although in this case he was not one of the nephilim but they called him a madman but that madman went to stay in a strategic cave when jesus was going to the other side the spirit said go and meet him who told the madman jesus was coming as soon as jesus got there here was a madman looking at him and the demons start to speak have you come to destroy us we know you are coming to liberate this territory but we are the watchers over this territory the moment jesus casted them out immediately somebody's business went down immediately and it made them to drive jesus out of town they said jesus leave leave please leave you are making us lose here these spirits number two they are called gatekeepers you know what a gate is is the mystery of access that opens you up to a whether to to healing to grace to anointing there are families whose destiny are under the keys of gatekeepers they are not humans they sit down and manipulate the destinies of families please pray oh when it's time to pray it's a few minutes but pray are we together they are the ones who study all the graduates five people the only person that graduates they now kill him and you will think it's a mistake the gatekeepers but you can back up to get them rise up on your feet let's pray let's pray let's pray let's pray and the seed of the woman shake up a kata shake it take it let her baroka shabarati hallelujah Listen, the watchers, they make sure that the ordinances spoken over territories remain so. So they declare over this territory, no woman marries a good man. Why? Because a good man with her will produce a good child. And that child can be an evangelist that will change that land. So they are watchers. The moment, how many of you have seen that somebody just says, I love you, something happens. It's like a report sent in the spirit immediately and something happens immediately i want to give you a job and all of a sudden the watchers lift your voice and begin to blast in the spirit Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command, I command the sword of vengeance, the sword the sword of vengeance upon every entity, upon every entity manipulating my territory, manipulating my family. Lift your voice and pray. Let's 
when he's bringing us defeat. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. I shatter those altars. 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 I shatter those we are going to pray Listen. Just pray what I tell you, whether you understand what I'm saying or not. The Lord just showed me something now and we're going to pray. Are we together? In the name of Jesus. In the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Every door. Every, every door. door. That has given Satan access. That, that has given, given Satan, Satan to visit me. To visit me. In dreams. In dreams. In dreams and encounters. And encounters. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare. I declare. That door is closed now. That door is closed Hallelujah. We are still going to pray. Something is happening. You will see the testimonies that will come out from the next part. We are still praying. Listen. They come to you in the night and try to molest you. They try to sleep with you. They try to press you. They come as animals. They use the faces of men you know. Not humans. They are watchers. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Every stranger. Stranger. Oppressing me at night. Oppressing me at night. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. I break your hold over my life. I break your hold over my life. and pray. One of the greatest activities of these entities is to stop the gospel from reaching your home. You can preach to others. You can be holding crusades, raising wheelchairs. But if that gospel nears your compound, here they come. They are watchers. You can preach to anyone else, sing to anyone else. But if that thing comes near your compound, are you ready to pray? In the name of Jesus. In, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. I declare. I, I declare, declare that the gospel, that the, the gospel, gospel of salvation, of salvation, of healing, of healing, of restoration, of restoration, reaches all my loved ones. Reaches all my loved ones. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Open your mouth and
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, please listen. Even if you have not prayed anything tonight, I'm going to give you a few minutes to really pray. Are we together? Aside from the gospel, the greatest area of attack of these entities is marriage and family love. Listen to me. If they cannot stop you from settling down, they stop fruitfulness. Or they plant something in your child. You give birth to a child who becomes something else. It's not normal. We are going to pray. Listen, every sister here, when it's time to pray, lay your hands on your womb. Listen, I'm blasting tongues and pray. I will not give birth to an entity that is another spirit. Lift your voice and pray. We will not put the generation of Satan. We will not put the generation of Lucifer. We will not put the generation of the Lord of Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I decree and declare if there is anyone here having visitations of spirits coming to you in the night, molesting you, whether as animals, as human, male or female, I declare right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I decree and declare, let that fire separate you and separate you and them right now. Separate you and them right now. Lift your hands and pray. I prophesy over every family tree of which you are part. If there be any seed of Belial, any seed of the prince of darkness in your lineage, in the name of Jesus, I call upon the God of Jeshurun oh, and I decree and declare let fire land on that lineage today. Yeah. Let fire land on that lineage today. Yeah. 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 Oh. Lift your hands. Was he praying? The altars of impotent, the altars of barrenness the altars just keep your hands lifted of poverty the altars of untold hardship that have been programmed in lineage in many lineages represented here right and declare let the fire fall and destroy them Amen. let the fire fall and destroy them Amen. let the fire fall and destroy them Amen. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Let me pray. Dangerous prayer. Apostle James said that when you want a body to stop functioning, remove the body. These entities are combinations of spirits and bodies. There is a strategy for stopping their function. I decree and declare in the name that is above all names. 
that if there is any of those entities please listen i'm praying now i'm seeing fire falling on people that if there is any entity whether in our villages or our homes a pure human sent by darkness right now i cause a separation between their spirits and their bodies Amen. i cause a separation between their spirits Amen. and bodies. I command the earth to open and swallow them. Amen. I command the earth to open and swallow Amen. them. I command the earth to open and swallow Amen. them. Hey. Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. If there is anything that your family should have handled today, I don't care whether it's position of influence. There are some of you where you are. With your love for God, you should not be at that level now. Yes, but there is something programming your remaining there. Can I prophesy a lifting yes, for somebody? In the name of Jesus, tonight by this grace and unction, I declare to you every entity holding you down may the grave swallow them now Amen. every entity holding you down may the grave swallow them now Amen. therefore I prophesy to you beginning from tonight rise to a level you have never seen rise to a new dimension of influence rise to a new dimension of power hallelujah can i prophesy over your finances yes, sir. do you believe it the bible says believe in the lord your god so shall he be established he said believe in his prophets don't mind this our arrogant generation that will not listen to the word are we together let me tell you something there is something called sovereign wealth wealth by the finger of god in the name of jesus by this time tomorrow i'm saying it if you have the faith to receive i stand in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god by this time tomorrow may my god surprise you by this time to i prophesy to you i shift things i shift wealth to you from the realm of the spirit i command strangers i seize their sleep may they bless you i instruct them i set it as an ordinance in the spirit in the name of jesus christ not by might it's not by power it's by the spirit listen you will be surprised at the testimonies you hear tomorrow some of you you will be minding yourself after the just walking home and before you reach home you're already crying for joy and saying, what is this what is this listen if you can receive for your family i stretch my hands some of them think you are wasting your time coming every day but may my god give them a sign tonight may my god surprise them with a sign tonight a sign that will bring them by themselves tomorrow may my god give them a sign tonight listen listen let me tell you something we're rounding up you see before you believe it go and find out his track record don't just believe foolishly ask questions this person talking like this as he said it before and what the bible says he confirmed the words of his messengers it's not pride it's the truth these seven days was designed to change us listen 
tomorrow i'm going to give you some instructions huh by friday you are going to carry your documents and the rest and come with it let me see the devil let me see the principality except it is not god that ordained this ministry see what my god will do there must come a time in your life where god will shift you if you don't shift it's your fault oh. let me tell you this hallelujah i'm praying over finances we're rounding up already i i didn't plan to talk about but the lord just put it in my spirit it's not so that you come and so please don't come out here if you don't know what you are doing please this is not it's not a ritual we're not playing games here but i want to pray for people who can believe this man you see standing before you by his grace is a steward of the mysteries of god the bible says let every man minister according to the measure of grace do you understand i can look at someone and say take 10 naira from my pocket this is me a man talk more the god of heaven but he's helpless until someone declares please just believe me once i beg you in the name of jesus this night just be you can insult me if it doesn't happen but just believe i want to pray again for your finances the name of jesus christ i pray and i ask my god the god who has taken me by his grace the god who took this ministry by his grace i stand before his altar and I program a climate of strange favor over your life. Program a climate of strange favor over your life. I program a climate. Don't ask where it will come from. You will not see the wind. You will not see rain. But I program a climate of strange favor over your life. When God becomes the center of your focus, you keep looking at him and setting your gaze on him, and you will not know when you are rising. You will check and find out that you are not where you used to be again. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Please hold the hands of someone by your left and by your right. At the center of it all is you that I see. Is you that center of it all it's you that i see woke up this morning to pray at about 3 a.m. Now listen, we are going to pray. And when I woke up, I was just walking around. I was not even praying. And the next thing the Lord told me, go on your knees. I just rested on the chair and I was in the spirit. And the strange thing was, I saw the level of speed. Things were unfolding in people's lives, just like a new season. Listen, listen, I want to hear what I'm telling you. I saw people
buying vehicles, getting houses, moving. I mean, listen, listen. I, I mean what I'm saying. You know how, how do I put it now? Um, there's this thing in a, when you, you have a, a, any digital device and you are fast forwarding. You can adjust the fast forwarding. Listen to me. I was in the spirit when I saw this. I was watching like a drama. And then every time seasons are opening, one of the ways, there are many ways God shows me. One, either in a military, military attire, or number two, the page of a book opening. And suddenly, I saw the page of a book opening. Immediately, I saw this. I came back. And that's why the Lord told me to bring this message. Let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, new seasons always don't look like it. But for those who have strength, lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit. first prayer point tonight is you are going to judge God faithful take your eyes away from whatever has not happened or has happened and judge him faithful lift your voice and say Lord you are faithful you are faithful Go for the things you have done and the things that look like I'm not Saints of God pray, mighty ones pray, those who have been favored by the ancient one, pray. possess the quality of consistency to be faithful means to possess the quality of unbendableness to be faithful means to possess the quality of integrity predictability sameness and there is a name God is called faithful and true lift your voice and say Lord I judge you faithful you are consistent I just 
Jesus, your faithfulness. Please help those under the anointing. I judge you faithful. I judge you faithful. Consistent. Unchanging. Unbending.
The Bible says salvation belongs to the Lord. It is within his power to make rich. It is within his power to bless. It is within his power to lead. When God points at a man and says, This is my city to lead, there is nothing that can be done under the surface of the earth. Listen to me. Salvation does not just mean salvation from sin and Satan. It is the word soteria. It is also the word sozo. Are we together now? Soteria means to be grafted out into honor. It's a translation, a shift of realms, a shift of dimension, a shift of reality, a shift of results. Soteria. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, he said we were like them that dream. Our mouths were filled with laughter and said they among the hidden, the Lord has done great things for them. He says the Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Then he says turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev. It is within his power. Point number three. Atmosphere. See now. Chains be broken. Pray. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Come now. Heaven open. For me, but many are the adversaries. It is within your power to dislodge the spirits, program to hold destinies, the stargazers over the destinies of men. It is within your power. Lift your voice like a priest. I pray tonight. I command power. I command devils, spirits, Send your resource. 
and look at me satan will not fold his arms and let you raise godly children satan will not fold his arms and watch your ministry expand satan will not fold his arms and watch the wealth of the kingdom come upon you knowing that you have the mindset that promotes christ satan will not fold his arms and allow peace in your marriage satan will not fold his arms and allow peace in your family you are going to decree you are going to create i like you to rebuke the devil command these powers give way give way give way by the spirit Command every force that is not of the Christ over your prophecy, over your life, over your destiny. Hallelujah. Now listen, the last prayer point and we're done tonight. One of the ways that we know God is through the dimensions that he has revealed. He is healer. He is lifter. He is restorer. He broke himself into these dimensions so that the day you need that dimension of him, you can provoke it. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Hey. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Your name you are saying let the reign of restoration comes because you are the restorer let the, on, let the reign of revival come let the reign of grace when you pray listen the bible says in isaiah chapter 15 i think and verse 32 or so until the spirit be poured upon us from on high then any man's desert can be turned for a fruitful vine. Any desert can be turned for a fruitful vine. And a fruitful vine be turned to a forest. But the secret is that shower. So when you say, Lord, don't just send help. Send your name. Yes, sir. Because the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous can run and they are safe. The name of the Lord is security. The name of the Lord is defense. The name of the Lord is speed. The name of the Lord is restoration. The name of the Lord is deliverance. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Just breathe your name. to mention every dimension of the name of God that you need in this season to push you into prophecy. If it's restoration, call it. If it's healing, call it. If it's a miracle worker, call it. Lift your voice and
restore your joy. Let it restore your prosperity. Let it restore your peace. Though you are beginning this small. Hallelujah. The names of God. He can be healer. He can be restorer. He can be deliverer. Whatever it is that you need is covered in his name. His covenant name. YHWH Yahweh is his personal name. Hallelujah. Listen. Please hear me. There is a name of God that can take you from where you are now to where prophecy demands you should be. You must find that name. Find it in prayer. For some of you, it is the lifter. For some of you, it is the restorer. For some of you, it is the deliverer. For some of you is the mighty man in battle. For some of you is Ebenezer. For some of you is El Shaddai, the multi-breasted one. For some of you, it is the ancient of days. Hallelujah. Listen. Let me add one more prayer. I apologize. Our time is gone. You're going to pray. Lord let nothing in my life steal my joy listen to me hear me soon we're going to be wrapping up koinonia now and many of you will return home many of you are already some of our people have left gone for various reasons some are finishing their exams they're going and let me tell you something the world that we live in today unfortunately is saddled with all kinds of negative things from reports from family health reports reports of statistics reports of all kinds of findings and you are embedded in a system that is full of all of these things and most of them are complete nonsense as far as your destiny and god's program is concerned you will need to trust god for joy joy guard joy jealously some of you have lost your joy you walk with gloominess as if life has pressed you down can i tell you something listen to me the joy of the Lord is real strength. Once you sustain joy, you will watch your life continue to rise. The joy of the Lord is what guarantees harvest. The joy of the Lord is what guarantees finishing. I took this Bible and I found out that there was both Genesis and Revelation. And at the end of it, God is still seated on the throne. On no account, in this Bible, kings had to read relinquish their thrones in this bible queens had to relinquish their thrones in this bible nations had to relinquish their territory but from genesis to revelation there is an ancient one that remains seated as proof that he is the monarch of the universe are we together so my soul find rest in the fact that there is the name of God pray that last prayer and we'll wrap up this session Lord joy let there be joy overflowing right now no room for sadness no no room for joy the joy of the Lord the joy that he the joy that comes upon the Lord, no matter what report I get from home, your joy remains with me. 
Right this, no matter what report I get in my office, my joy remains with me. No matter what results I see in my business in ministry, joy. Hallelujah. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. Yes, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh. says they looked unto him and their faces were lightened you become like what you are looking at if the only thing you see is pain it will keep multiplying if the only thing you see is discouragement it will keep multiplying the Bible says and we all with unveiled face beholding him as in a mirror it says we are changed we are changed from weakness to strength we are changed from shame to glory we are changed from tears to rejoicing we are changed from mourning to joy it says you have turned my mourning into dancing you have turned my sorrow to joy we're talking about the god of heaven they looked unto him and their faces were lightened there is no shame in looking unto him for he is the glory of the father even revealed in the face of Jesus. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. Yes, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh. The face of development. Lord, grant me the discipline. Grant Can I prophesy over someone? In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare by December this year, 
you will stand shedding tears of joy because of the mighty things that God would have done in your life. Hey, for someone, though your beginning be small, let me speak to you. There is a grace that lifts men right from where they are to the place of grace and glory. I speak that to your life. I speak that to your finances. I speak that to your ministry. I speak that to your health. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. God can make men great. Oh. I hope you believe that. It is within his power to make men great. So an ordinary man, supposedly nobody, who is seated here, whether inside or outside, no one may know you now, but that by December, all men are looking for you. I'm not entertaining you. Oh. I say to whoever has the grace to believe, in the name of Jesus, may my God place something on your head this night. May my God place an unction upon your head this night. It will compel nations to call for you. It will compel territories to seek you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Mark chapter 1 and verse 37, the Bible says Jesus departed to a solitary place to pray after the exploits of his crusades mark 1 37 the bible says and they began to look for him and when they found him they said unto him all men seek for thee there are graces when you carry some men will seek for you there are graces when you carry your tribes men will seek for you there are graces when you carry poor men will seek for you there are graces when you carry troublemakers will seek for you but there are graces when you carry all men all men means kings all men mean nobles all men include strangers that do not know you hallelujah do you believe this everything that is a covering cast over you that will not allow the glory of god to be revealed in the name of jesus i came by the anointing of the spirit i tear it like a veil i tear it like a veil over your help them please i tear it like a veil i tear it like a veil in the name of jesus i say it to you again every covering cast of darkness over your life that will not let the glory of god be revealed i came by fire and I came with power this night. Let it be torn in the name of Jesus. Remember you not the former things. Everything that stopped you from rising last year and made the year look as if you were cursed. I don't know what it is called, but in the name of Jesus, everything that is not of the christ you have watched it hold people down i will not let them go forward i stand like moses and i declare this year go forward i push you by prophecy go forward go forward advance help that gentleman go forward excel excel in ministry i place an anointing upon you excel in business excel in family excel in the name of jesus where you have been deserted so that no man will pass through you i call you an eternal excellency hear me in the name of jesus the anointing for speed i place that anointing on you now take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now i release that grace speed in ministry speed in business speed in destiny speed in career may my god take 10 years and put it in one year 10 years and put it in one year
I'm hearing in my spirit shame. I don't know who that is for shame. Everything that has looked like shame is like a mark on your head. Everywhere you go, it attracts shame. I don't know who this word is for, but in the name of Jesus, that cause of shame be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Shame and reproach in ministry. Be broken now. Shame and reproach in business. Career failure. Be broken now. I want you to pray a prayer and then we'll continue. Say in the name of Jesus, I obtain grace to advance, grace to go forward. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Grace, grace to advance. You are gaining momentum in the spirit. Don't be silent, pray. Grace to our times. Shaka da 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 This one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind and reaching for the things that are before me. in Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray please be seated for a minute give us Philippians chapter 3 again I want you to look at verse 14 very carefully verse 14 the power of God is mighty in this place you came to church tonight how will you go back the same no no for God is not a man that he should lie nor the son of man that he should repent. I'm hearing a prophetic word for someone. It's one word again, 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 again is a prophetic word. This is not the first time I'm hearing it in a meeting. It's the word again. I am coming to you again. You are rising again. Ah. What you once held that left you by carelessness again, God is bringing it again. It's not for everyone, but I'm saying it to someone you lost opportunities, relationships, resources. My God is bringing it again, restoring again, lifting you again, giving you visibility again. Please be seated. I'm seeing fire fall. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. I'm seeing fire fall. Oh, let it fall, let it fall, let it give you wings in the spirit, wings to fly, wings to soar, wings to fly, wings to soar, in the name of Jesus. Let's 
Hallelujah. Please be seated. Let's tidy this up in the time we have. But I want you to be sensitive. Something is happening to your spirit, man. Listen. You see, you must learn to discern spiritual atmospheres. The Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. There are two ladies I've seen in the choir right now. I just saw fire just coming on them. Two of you. In the name of Jesus, I don't know what that impartation is for, but may that grace cause you to ascend in the spirit. Ascend in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Hallelujah. I know we are discussing along the lines of the team, but the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing a man of God. And the Lord is saying his gift to you tonight is the spirit of revelation. You have been praying, you have been crying. This is a minister of the gospel. Wherever that man is, whether inside or outside, in the name of Jesus, I call upon the God that gives men, the one who can open the eyes of men to see. In the name of Jesus, like the dew of Hammon, may that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. Am I wasting your time? I just sense that God is beginning to, I was to teach something now, but I just sense there is a stirring. Someone's fasting has touched the heart of God. Someone's praying has touched the heart of God. Take it high for me, please. Let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Holy Ghost power, rest on me. Let your power, power to prosper, rest on me. Rest on me. Let your power, power to prosper, rest on me. Let your spirit, spirit of wisdom rest on me, rest on me. Let your spirit, spirit of wisdom rest on me, rest on me. Let your spirit for signs and wonders rest on me, rest on me. Oh, 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 rest on me. Oh, 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 rest on me. Oh, 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 rest on me. Spirit of wisdom, rest on me. Someone begin to pray, rest on me. Abadika to Sarabalata, rest on me, O God. The power to prosper. Rest on me, the spirit of wisdom. Rest on me. Rest on me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're having a little chat with Pastor, and I was just commending on the graves that God has brought and multiplied upon his life, the ministry spreading across, I want to release a grace for visibility. If you like, believe it. If you like, don't believe it. 
but there is a grace that gives men visibility hear me just because you are graced and gifted does not mean the nations will hear you there are many gifted people who have been kept down the bible says gideon sounded a trumpet and 33,000 people showed up where they came from we do not know but there was a trumpet that they had and they began to gravitate towards him there is a grace that when it rests upon you you cannot be small no it's true because many of you here i sense in my spirit you are faithful you are diligent but that grace that becomes a leverage is not there i pray for someone here in the name that is above all names the grace that gives men visibility that will cause your voice that will cause your product that hear ye him anointing may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now in the name of jesus please be seated please be seated Now, what I'm about to give you are prophetic instructions. I want you to just listen to them. Instructions are enhancers to destiny manifestation. He says, my son, pay attention to my words. He says, incline your ears to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your heart. Keep them in the midst of thee. They are life, not to everyone, to those who find them and help to their flesh. Hallelujah. Those who train pilots are not called coaches, they are called instructors because they give them direct precepts. If you keep with it, you will soar in the air, you compromise, you may crash in a moment. Hallelujah. And the Lord gave me this just to encourage you on this over dwelling on the past. And then the next is a rundown of a few prophetic instructions. Let me just walk with the time that I have. And then I finally speak over your life. Honestly, this is the year your life will really produce results. You see, when you hear words like this, don't get used to entertainment on TV and just believe everybody who is speaking is entertaining. No. Gabriel looked at Zechariah and said, I am Gabriel that came from the presence of God. Find out where men are coming from before you vet what they are saying. Not everybody is a joker. I say it again. In the name of Jesus, the one who called and anointed men, the one who has so given us graces, this year, 2024, may my God surprise you. May my God surprise you. May my God surprise you. You believe what you are hearing? Let's get a few prophetic instructions and then we'll pray. Thank you, Jesus. Just hold for me now the person who shouts loud under the anointing. You don't have to bring them out. You just hold them so that they don't run around. Oh, oh, oh. rest on me. Oh, oh. Rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, power to prosper. Rest on me, rest on me. Let your power for signs and wonders. Rest on me, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. There is a young man here 
please just allow me to do my thing. The Spirit of God keeps prevailing over me. There is a young man here. You have not started ministry yet. But this year, there is an anointing that has been searching for you. You have been quiet walking in the Spirit. You are in this place. The Lord is asking me to speak that grace over your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, for that young man, silent in the cave of Adullam, being walked upon by the Spirit, let this anointing that will begin to announce you in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, Paris Kani Shalaka Pariata, Embracatebarekes Kadinas Kabai, Paria Shabareka Pariata, Elekate Fresca Pedekatai, Krika Pedekataka Pariata, Embrakes Kabe, Embrasteta Pariata, Kaprika Pus Kadiata. May you arise and shine by the Spirit of grace. May you arise and shine by the Spirit of grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone who is full of faith, begin to pray in the spirit in one minute. Pray in the spirit in one minute. Pray in the spirit in one minute. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, are the shield for me, my glory, the lifter up of my head. But thou, O oh Lord, are the shield for me, my glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, are the shield for me, my glory, the lifter up of my head. Say after me as loud as you can. Say, Father. Father. One more time. Say, Father. Father. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that my life will be a revelation of the glory of God. I receive by faith all your promises for me. Go ahead and begin to pray. I receive. Someone is praying. Rakesh kapranda kabeleka tas kabrega kabeleka. Shales kabarentas kabrakatola sava sada bakata. I receive in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. And this is the confidence that we have in Him that when we ask anything according to His will, He heareth us. Go ahead and pray. Oh, I receive the joy. Lord, no matter what report I get from home, your joy remains with me. No matter what report I get in my office, my joy remains with me. No matter what results I see in my business in ministry, joy. Hallelujah. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. Yes, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh.
Bible says they looked unto him and their faces were lightened. You become like what you are looking at. If the only thing you see is pain, it will keep multiplying. If the only thing you see is discouragement, it will keep multiplying. The Bible says, and we all with unveiled face, beholding him as in a mirror. It says we are changed. We are changed from weakness to strength. We are changed from shame to glory. We are changed from tears to rejoicing. We are changed from mourning to joy. It says, you have turned my mourning into dancing. You have turned my sorrow to joy. We are talking about the God of heaven. They looked unto him and their faces were lightened. There is no shame in looking unto him. For he is the glory of the Father, even revealed in the face of Jesus. We look to Yahweh. Yahweh Our hope is Yahweh Yahweh Yes we look to Yahweh Yahweh The face of development. Lord, grant me the discipline. Grant Can I prophesy over someone? In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, by December this year, you will stand shedding tears of joy because of the mighty things that God would have done in your life. Hey, for someone, though your beginning be small, let me speak to you. There is a grace that lifts men right from where they are to the place of grace and glory. I speak that to your life. I speak that to your finances. I speak that to your ministry. I speak that to your health. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me? God can make men great. Oh. I hope you believe that. It is within his power to make men great. So an ordinary man, supposedly nobody, who is seated here, whether inside or outside, no one may know you now, but that by December, all men are looking for you. I'm not entertaining you. Oh. I say to whoever has the grace to believe, in the name of Jesus, may my God place something on your head this night. May my God place an unction upon your head this night. It will compel nations to call for you. It will compel territories to seek you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Mark chapter 1 and verse 37, the Bible says Jesus departed to a solitary place to pray after the exploits of his crusades, Mark 1, 37, the Bible says, and they began to look for him. And when they found him, they said unto him, all men seek for thee. There are graces when you carry, some men will seek for you. There are graces when you carry, your tribes men will seek for you. There are graces when you carry poor men will seek for you. There are graces when you carry troublemakers will seek for you. But there are graces when you carry all men. All men means kings. All men mean nobles. All men include strangers that do not know you. 
Hallelujah. Do you believe this? Everything that is a covering cast over you that will not allow the glory of God to be revealed in the name of Jesus, I came by the anointing of the Spirit. I tear it like a tail. I tear it like a tail over your help and be sapatatosiata. I tear it like a veil. I tear it like a veil. In the name of Jesus, I say to you again, every covering cast of darkness over your life that will not let the glory of God be revealed. I came by fire and I came with power. This night, let it be torn in the name of Jesus. Remember ye not the former things. Everything that stopped you from rising last year and made the year look as if you were cursed. I don't know what it is called, but in the name of Jesus, everything that is not of the Christ, you have watched it hold people down and will not let them go forward. I stand like Moses and I declare this year, go forward. I push you by prophecy. Go forward. Go forward. Advance, help that gentleman go forward. Excel, excel in ministry. I place an anointing upon you. Excel in business, excel in family, excel in the name of Jesus. where you have been deserted so that no man will pass through you i call you an eternal excellency hear me in the name of jesus the anointing for speed i place that anointing on you now take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now i release that grace speed in ministry speed in business speed in destiny speed in career May my God take 10 years and put it in one year. 10 years and put it in one year. I'm hearing in my spirit shame. I don't know who that is for shame. Everything that has looked like shame is like a mark on your head. Everywhere you go, it attracts shame. I don't know who this word is for, but in the name of Jesus, that cause of shame be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Shame and reproach in ministry. Be broken now. Shame and reproach in business. Career failure, be broken now. I want you to pray a prayer and then we'll continue. Say in the name of Jesus, I obtain grace to advance. Grace to go forward. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Grace. Shalika Benatata Kasiata. Grace to advance. You are gaining momentum in the spirit. Don't be silent. Pray. Grace to advance. Shalika Benatata Benatata. Krapata Toska Benatata Benatata. This one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind and reaching for the things that are before me. For in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Please be seated for a minute.
Give us Philippians chapter 3 again. I want you to look at verse 14 very carefully. Verse 14. The power of God is mighty in this place. You came to church tonight. How will you go back the same? No. No. For God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. I'm hearing a prophetic word for someone. It's one word again, 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 again is a prophetic word. This is not the first time I'm hearing it in a meeting. It's the word again. I am coming to you again. You are rising again. Ah. What you once held that left you by carelessness again, God is bringing it again. It's not for everyone, but I'm saying it to someone. You lost opportunities, relationships, resources. My God is bringing it again. Restoring again. Lifting you again. Giving you visibility again. Please be seated. I'm seeing fire fall. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. I'm seeing fire fall. Oh, let it fall, let it fall. Let it give you wings in the spirit. Wings to fly, wings to soar, wings to fly, wings to soar. In the name of Jesus. tidy this up the time we have but I want you to be sensitive something is happening to your spirit man listen you see you must learn to discern spiritual atmospheres the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit there are two ladies I'm seeing in the choir right now I just saw fire just coming on them two of you in the name of Jesus I don't know what that impartation is for but may that grace cause you to ascend in the spirit ascend in the spirit in the name of Jesus the son of the living God hallelujah I know we are discussing along the lines of the team but the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing a man of God and the Lord is saying his gift to you tonight is the spirit of revelation you have been praying, you have been crying. This is a minister of the gospel. Wherever that man is, whether inside or outside, in the name of Jesus, I call upon the God that gives men, the one who can open the eyes of men to see. In the name of Jesus, like the dew of Hammon, may that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. Am I wasting your time? I just sense that God is beginning to, I was to teach something now. 
but I just sense there is a stirring. Someone's fasting has touched the heart of God. Someone's praying has touched the heart of God. Take it high for me, please. Let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Holy Ghost power, rest on me. Let your power, power to prosper. Rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, power to prosper. Rest on me. Rest on me. Let your spirit, spirit of wisdom, rest on me. Rest on me. Let your spirit, spirit of wisdom, rest on me. Rest on me. Let your spirit for signs and wonders, rest on me. Rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Spirit of wisdom, rest on me. Someone begin to pray, rest on me. Abadita to Sagabalata, rest on me, O God. The power to prosper, rest on me. The spirit of wisdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're having a little chat with Pastor, and I was just commending on the grace that God has brought and multiplied upon his life the ministry spreading across i want to release a grace for visibility if you like believe it if you like don't believe it but there is a grace that gives men visibility hear me just because you are graced and gifted does not mean the nations will hear you there are many gifted people who have been kept down The Bible says Gideon sounded a trumpet and 33,000 people showed up. Where they came from, we do not know. But there was a trumpet that they had and they began to gravitate towards him. There is a grace that when it rests upon you, you cannot be small. No. It's true. Because many of you here, I sense in my spirit, you are faithful, you are diligent. But that grace that becomes a leverage is not there. I pray for someone here. In the name that is above all names. The grace that gives men visibility. That will cause your voice. That will cause your product. That hear ye him anointing. May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus. Please be seated. Please be seated. Now what I'm about to give you are prophetic instructions. I want you to just listen to them. Instructions are enhancers to destiny manifestation. He says, my son, pay attention to my words. He says, incline your ears to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your heart. Keep them in the midst of thee. They are life, not to everyone, to those who find them and health to their flesh. 
Hallelujah. Those who train pilots are not called coaches, they are called instructors because they give them direct precepts. If you keep with it, you will soar in the air. You compromise, you may crash in the moment. Hallelujah. And the Lord gave me this just to encourage you on this over dwelling on the past. And then the next is a rundown of few prophetic instructions. Let me just walk with the time that I have and then I finally speak over your life. Honestly, this is the year your life will really produce results. You see, when you hear words like this, don't get used to entertainment on TV and just believe everybody who is speaking is entertaining. No. Gabriel looked at Zechariah and said, I am Gabriel that came from the presence of God. Find out where men are coming from before you vet what they are saying. Now, not everybody is a joker. I say it again. In the name of Jesus, the one who called an anointed man, the one who has so given us graces this year, 2024, may my God surprise you. May my God surprise you. May my God surprise you. You believe what you are hearing? Let's get a few prophetic instructions and then we'll pray. Thank you, Jesus. Just hold for me now the person who shouts loud under the anointing. You don't have to bring them out. You just hold them so that they don't run around. Oh, oh, rest on me. Oh, oh rest on me. Oh, oh, rest on me. Spirit of wisdom, rest on me. Let your power, power prosper. Rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, power to prosper. Rest on me, rest on me. Let your power for signs and wonders. Rest on me, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. There is a young man here. Please just allow me to do my thing. The Spirit of God keeps prevailing over me. There is a young man here. You have not started ministry yet. But this year, there is an anointing that has been searching for you. You have been quiet walking in the Spirit. You are in this place. The Lord is asking me to speak that grace over your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, for that young man, silent in the cave of Adullam, being walked upon by the Spirit, let this anointing that will begin to announce you in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Paris Kani Shalaka Pariata, Embra Kateba Rekes Kabina Skabai, Paria Shabareta Pariata, Ella Kate Fresca Pedekatai, Krika Pedekataka Pariata, Embra Pech Tape, Embra Stepeta Pariata. May you arise and shine by the spirit of grace. May you arise and shine by the spirit of grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone who is full of faith, begin to pray in the spirit in one minute. Pray in the spirit in one minute. Pray in the spirit in one minute. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, are a shield for me 
my glory, the lifter up of my head. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. Say after me as loud as you can. Say, Father. One more time. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that my life will be a revelation of the glory of God. I receive by faith all your promises for me. Go ahead and begin to pray. I receive. Someone is praying. Rakesh kapranda kabeleka tas kapranda kabeleka. Shales kabarenta skabrakatola sava sada bakata. I receive in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. And this is the confidence that we have in Him. That when we ask anything according to His will, He heareth us. Go ahead and pray. Oh, I receive by faith. Go ahead and pray. Divine help, speed, favor, lifting by the power of the Holy Ghost. Online pray. Outside pray. Man of God pray. Businessman pray, worshippers pray. Ela shala kaska braka tava leka bosh. Shala barada braka tava barada bosh. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We believe you are blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.